Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters, who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. They triumph over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink to death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury, because he knows that his time is short. Okay, guys, so we were speaking about the fact that... Um, Satan was busy, you know. He said, first of all, okay, uh, God has given me clues that, number one, a woman will defeat me. Fe okay, I understand that. Uh, okay, secondly, this uh, God, I mean, this son of his, who is God, will have a body prepared for him by someone or from the physical Israelites. So Satan focuses on the Israelites. Then he realized that he uh, is giving another clue that, okay, Jesus will be born through the line of the, of the, of David. So Satan is focusing on the line of Judah now, the household of David. Then after that, David says a virgin will bring birth to my son because a body must must be prepared for Jesus because Jesus cannot be given birth by anyone here on earth because he already exists. He's a God. He already exists. So a body has to be found for him. You understand? So Satan is getting all those clues and he's focusing guys on who? On the Israelites. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. You understand? But here, what I want to really focus on is when Satan focused on the world because I had to give you history. You know, with me, guys, I like to go back to the beginning so that you will uh, follow up. You will understand. You understand. In fact, I want us to read uh, from verse 13. This one was taken from Revelation uh, 12. Verse 13 says, When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman was given two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to a place prepared for her in the wilderness where she would be taken care of for a time, times and half a time out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth, the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with a torrent. But the head held the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commands and hold to fast and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. Okay, guys, so this part is very important because remember I said that this woman... You can say Mary was included somehow, but it had nothing to do with women because this woman is actually what? A church. You understand? But now we've been speaking against churches because Satan has, be, has been given authority to defeat the church. We've already spoken so much about that. You know, we're speaking about a beast. We're speaking about the wars to the churches. And I was reminding you as well about the fact that the beast is busy and Satan was given that authority. You understand? He was given authority over every language, tribe, you know, and people. You understand? Why is that? You know, so here we want to speak about all of that. Now, what I'm trying to say is that this woman is actually the church. But which church are we talking about? Because that's very important, guys. The, the when is very important. The when Satan started focusing on the world. The when, you know, put it in asterisk. The when, W-H-E-N, when, you know. Because you see, as I said, Satan was focusing on the Israelites because of the clues he was given by Daddy. Daddy kept giving him clues, 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 clues. And then he was focusing on the Israelites, you know, until the birth of Jesus. You understand? So as we said that Jesus, because he was already existing in heaven, he is a God. You know, the guy is older than the world. You understand? So because of that, he can't, uh, two people can't have sex and give birth to Jesus. So Mary is not necessarily the mother of Jesus, but uh, she was sort of like an envelope. You understand? So a body, Hebrews 10 verse 5 says, a body was prepared for me. Then I said, here I am, O Lord, to do your will. So a body had to be prepared and Jesus had to be put in this flesh that looked like Mary, obviously, or like someone who looked like 
uh, Abraham, you understand? So, guys, we've spoken so much about this, you know, because he already existed in heaven. He already, he already looked the way he looked. But to be put here, I mean, guys, imagine if Mary was giving birth to this child because Mary did not have sexual intercourse with Joseph. If she had, she wouldn't have given birth to Jesus because Mary is also spiritually dead because she also came from Adam. So she inherited sin from Adam as well. As much, I mean, guys, as well as, as Joseph, you understand? So they can't have sexual intercourse and give birth to Jesus because Jesus already existed, you understand? So imagine if Jesus came here on earth as he really looks because he says, my head is white as snow. My hair is white as snow. My eyes are blazing with fire. You understand? You'll find that in Daniel 7. You'll find this in Revelations 1. So Jesus is telling us that the real me, I look exactly like this. So we know that Jesus has a snow color. We know that. You understand? So uh, imagine if Mary is now giving birth, even though she knows that I did not have sexual intercourse with anyone. Still, giving birth to someone who looks like that. Guys, Jesus is a God. You understand? So, obviously, a body had to be prepared for him, meaning that Jesus must be put inside a womb, you know, inside a body of a human being. That's why Jesus had a flesh like ours, you understand? Even though she looked like someone who looked like Abraham, you understand? But she had to have a flesh like ours to cover how he really, really, really looks, you understand? We needed to make you understand all of those things, you understand? So now, Mary... You know, he, you can say this woman that daddy was speaking about in Genesis 3 is Mary, but not necessarily. It's actually the church. But which church we're speaking about? Because churches are busy preaching their own things, which are not in line with the word of God. You know, so Satan, guys, uh, before uh, everything, he was able to go and accuse brothers, you know, meaning those of the Old Testament. He couldn't accuse me, and I'll explain why later. So he would go and accuse those of the uh, children of Israel because they were spiritually dead, meaning they had his seed. Guys, the Israelites, the, they were all spiritually dead. When Teddy was dealing with them, they were spiritually dead. Moses, David, Daniel, Isaac. I mean, guys, all of these guys. Isaiah, you know, all these guys, they were spiritually dead. Elisha, you know, guys, Elia, every, all, all, every one of them, you understand? Because they all took... Uh, oh, uh, they, they all partook of Adam's sin, you understand? Meaning the sin of Adam was in them and the blood of Jesus was not yet here, you understand? So they had the blood of animals which covered their sins, not necessarily forgive sins, you understand? So they were all spiritually dead. So Satan realized that these people look like me. It is as if I created them, you know? So if they sin, uh, Satan could just go to heaven and accuse brethren. Accuse them. You see this one is done this. You see this one is done this. You see Job is done this. You see Job is done this, you know. And then he understood that, oh, okay, fine. Because see, guys, the Israelites are spiritually dead, but they were led by God of the kingdom of heaven. So you understand, guys, this thing here, these people, they look like Satan, as if like they belong to Satan, as if like they were created by Satan. But at the same time, they are led by God of the kingdom of heaven, who is spiritually alive. Guys, can you see that? Hey, guys, this thing is so confusing. You know, it's so confusing. You know, it's complex. It's complex. You know, so Satan would be able to go there and, and, and accuse brothers. So there was a, a fight in, a, a, you know, in heaven, uh, Archangel Michael and, you know, and his angels, they were fighting against this dragon and they were defeated and it was held down here. You understand? <laughs> So you see, guys, uh, Satan, when he was held down here, he was held down here uh, on a particular day, time. That's why I said underline when, because that is very important. You see, guys, when Jesus was born here on earth, uh, Herod was very uh, scared, threatened that he will no longer be a king because they were told that Jesus would be born and he is a king of Israel. They did not understand that there, there is a physical Israel and there is also a spiritual Israel. So when daddy speaks, he tends to use figurative speaking as well as plain speaking and put it together in one sentence. So he confuses. So they were also confused. So when Jesus was born, Herod sent his cohorts to go and kill all male children so that he would get rid of Jesus because he didn't want a king to threaten his uh, uh, throne. You understand? So he couldn't get him. Daddy spoke to Joseph to 
uh, to go to um, Egypt and Joseph went to Egypt to understand running away because wanted to make sure that uh, they protect uh, who? Jesus. That's why it says that when the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had been given birth to the male child. The woman was given two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness where she will be taken care of for a time, times and times and a half out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth, he, the the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with a torrent. But the but the earth held the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commands and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. So you understand that here, uh, when uh, Jesus was born, uh, Satan was very angry using Herod and everything. So Herod was uh, dead, he told um Joseph to run away because Herod wanted to kill. You know that's why there was so much mayhem. You know in 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 Israel. You go and read that. Uh, I, I think it's the Gospel of Matthew, the beginning chapters. You'll find that. You know uh, Herod sending his cohorts to go and kill all male children. Mayhem happened. You understand? There was so much chaos. You know because of that. You know so here that's what he is speak part of this is that what he's speaking about you understand so certain guys got very 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 angry you understand so jesus was protected you know with mary and joseph and then later they came back and when they came back uh joseph was still uh skeptical you know because daddy told joseph you can go back now herod is, is has now passed away you know so herod came back but was skeptical you know thinking oh what if this herod also do the same thing so instead of going to bethlehem uh he actually went to uh, and live in 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 Cali, you understand that's why jesus you know um Many people refused him in Israel. They said the prophets can't come from Galilee. Do you understand? It was because of that. You know, so a lot of things was happening there. You know, so John is also giving it in a form of revelation. So revelations, guys, are like dreams. You know, it's not like someone is going to literally kill you, shoot you. No, but it actually means something. You understand? So as long as you understand the story, you'll be able to, you know, to add up all this. Now, uh, after that, Jesus, you know, is now born and is protected and everything and is growing up and is focusing on daily and everything. But Satan was still con uh, concentrating on the physical Israelites. I want you to know, know that Satan was still concentrating on the physical Israelites. You understand why? Because he has to kill Jesus. His mission is to make sure that he kills Jesus. You know, then after that, he realizes that, oh, this guy is busy, you know, eluding him, you know, escaping him and, and, and all. So Jesus is now old and is now giving birth. I mean, he is now old enough to start what? Uh, the ministry. So he starts the ministry and he's preaching, he's giving the blood. So that's where the part comes in. Uh, verse uh, 10, he says, Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been held down. They triumph over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink to death. You see now, um, Jesus gives the blood. So Jesus now, guys, is where he's on the cross. After giving teachings and everything, he's going to the cross, he's giving the blood. So Satan is so angry that, damn, I couldn't kill this child from birth. You know, I couldn't get him before he was born. I couldn't kill him from birth. And now he's here on the cross. Let me kill him. Not realizing now that by killing him, he's actually allowing the blood to be available to all of us. And by doing so, Everyone on earth will have access to Jesus, not only the Israelites, because we all came from Adam who came from Jesus. So we are now going back to our former nature. By this blood, Satan is thinking, oh, well, I finally got rid of him, not realizing, no, 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 no. Actually, you are actually making the blood available. So all these people are going back to their father now, those who want to. You understand? Guys, let me stop here and continue in the next.